Hello friends, today we are here on the topic velocity diagram. Now, whenever the jet is coming and strike with the runner, it produces a different different velocity. The velocity which we have V1 and V2, that is the velocity of jet at inlet and exit. We have a U1 and U2, that is the speed of runner when the water is coming and strike with the runner at the inlet and the exit. We have VR1 and VR2, these are the relative velocity which always combined with the help of V1 and U1 means the velocity of jet and velocity of runner and we have VW1 and VW these are the component of V1 and uh, similarly the second component of V1 is your VL which is your velocity of flow now we have here two conditions the first condition is jet is striking normally whenever the jet is striking normally it make an angle of here the 90 degree my friend this make an angle of 90 degree it coming with the velocity V1 at the similar time we have here the velocity of runner that is my U1 then velocity of runner is coming at the combined with the V1 they are producing the VR1 that is the velocity ratio it will escape it will uh, deliver by removing uh, by uh, lifting with the VR2 that is my relative velocity 2 when it is leaving uh, with the relative velocity 2 it make an angle of phi that phi is an angle of deflector now I have uh, the component of V2 this is my, my friend this is your V2 velocity at the exit it having a two component VW2 and VF2 as I told you here it's a velocity of whirling and velocity of flow now at the same time velocity of runner so the alpha and theta there is no any alpha but uh, there is a phi phi the angle of deflector I have here a beta that is a vane angle now it is a condition where it is come, come strike with the normally but when it strike with an angle it making a curve it coming with a velocity v1 which making an angle of alpha with the volume velocity now here v1 is having again two components vw1 and vw2 it making an angle theta with the help of vr2 when it strike come and come it's striking and leaving this the periphery with the vr2 that is the relative velocity again it make an angle of phi is the angle of deflector which make an here with the uh, the line extended with their axis now the phi is uh, making with the angle of uh, vr2 and u2 u2 is the speed of run here i have u1 is the speed of run at the inlet now when uh, we have going with the velocity to v2 that is the velocity of jet striking uh, v2 it having two components vw2 and vf2 these are the components which make an angle of beta now my friend here i have beta and alpha which is the angle of Gain, but here the angle of gain is absent my friend this velocity diagram is very important in the all the competition exam for the numerical purpose and for the objective purpose for any query if you want call me on number 0909836745 and you can also mail me on omprakashsukla26 at the rate gmail.com thank you very much